Okay, so let's go create a stage table. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go and create a data warehouse here. And remember, I'm using the um, Manage Studio, but I reinstall my SQL Server 2019. And I'll do a video about that uh, later on. Oh, here my 22 is looking weird. And here I'm going to set up that warehouse here. Repository online down W test one. I go to my test one. I have some to assist administrator. Let's see if this is Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I had to upload in my Academy B. Make so here I'm going to upload my raw data and I'm going to upload a flat file. <clears throat> I did change my file a little and actually I know this is something so um I kind of fixed the Excel a little bit. I changed currency to regular um, int. And I'll show you what I meant. So here I'm uploading a CSV, a comma delimiter file. Come over here, see for price. Uh, it's not uh, uploading as as money currencies is just decimal points, so that makes my life easier. And source ID, I'm going to select int, uh, bar chart 50, uh, bar chart max, any small uh, int. Oh, this is a float, all the currency is a float because it's a decimal. I guess you can upload it like this and try to fix it later. Uh, since you get so many um, mistakes that uh, can come, sorry, Is uh, max. I didn't put uh, the uh, is going to be no, that's okay. Take 
update sent and the last And so, okay, so I upload raw data. To rename this raw data. And let go. There you go. Oh, okay, so the next thing is I need to create my stage table. So here is my stage table. I'm going to provide this for you. I fix it so there is no errors here. Okay, so I will provide this <coughs> to you. Uh, and I put them all separate, like the stage table, the fact table, so that will make more sense to you. Okay. I'm going to close up and to my Visual Studio. After using the Visual Studio 2022, I'm going to start this without code. I did add three packages. And if you don't have them, just go to the extension, manage extensions, uh, browse, for example, we're going to use integration. And you can see the my is already added. You should, if you don't have it, you say install. Okay, then you have to download it, close the Visual Studio, install, restart the computer, you're good to go. Okay, all right, so I'm going to create a, a project here. I'm going to create this. I'm going to search for integration I'm gonna call this online retail stage okay so I kind of uh, sorry test go you guys just call online retail stage or online retail whatever make sure that you know where the location of your files will be saved because you, you're gonna need to <coughs> submit that repository Uh, one thing, if this SSI tool uh, window does not load, I keep loading, doesn't come out, it means that you had to uninstall the integration package, download it again, and install. So it's a lot of things. This is what is free, and this is what uh, they test to uh, figure out the bugs before they can sell it. So let's go. And I'm going to rename stage table. So we are creating the stage table first. And there you go. And for the stage, I'm going to use in my favorite here. If it's not open, open. I have the execute task. The execute task is just a function that will allow us to create a table. And Professor, why we need to use this and not just the, uh, the database uh, part, you know, the server. Is because sometimes you can create 50 or 100 tables at one time. Okay? And so I'm dragging this to the uh, window. I'm going to call it stage table. And here is where I'm going to connect my server to this software. I need to connect to this software, right? All right, so I'm going to look for that connection, create a new connection. <coughs> I'm going to delete this one. So let's, you should see this, no connections. So I'm going to create one. Here you have to be in the native client. You're not going to be able to connect without it. And then uh, for the first time, you should use the uh, arrow. It's going to take a while to connect, so don't cancel, think it's not working. I'll show you the uh, 
another method to connect faster. But the first time, you need to wait. I'm connecting here and I have created the online retail DW test one that's mine all right and I'm gonna say okay okay that <coughs> I need to do is write that query right here <coughs> sorry so I'm gonna go here to this query that I had fixed guys uh And <coughs> in order to deploy this, I'm going to click, click start. And uh, it worked. So I'm going to go to my database and see if it really works. Sometimes uh, some people they refresh and nothing happened. You have to close the software and open it again, and then you'll see your table. And here is my online. And if you see it, nothing is there because the table is empty. I had to grab the data from the raw data and dump it here in this table. Okay. In order to do that, my table has to be. All right. Very good. Actually, I go close this. What I move forward, I'm going to open it again and I'm going to copy the name of my server so I don't have to wait to look at the server. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so I'm copy my server here. Put it here so I can grab this. All right. Uh, <coughs> <coughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Now the next step is grabbing the data from uh, the raw data all the way to um, this stage. 